We'll begin with Seattle. Steve, a different look from them. They're going with a 4-4-2, a diamond formation today. It is different. It seems he's playing in a 4-2-3-1 the past couple of years under Ziggy Schmidt and then Brian Schmetzer. But tonight, it's a diamond formation. Stefan Fry in goal. He's no stranger now to Sounders fan base. He's really established himself as one of the top goalkeepers in the league. At right back, Kelvin Leder. Across the center backs is Chad Marshall and Tony Alfaro. And at left back, the first look at brand new signing, Waylon Francis, who's an experienced international and MLS player, but he's first stint here as a sounder. Defending midfield, it's not Osvaldo Alonso, it's Jordi Delem tonight, a player who got some minutes last year, hoping to build on that this year. And then on the left and right of the diamond is Harry Ship and Christian Rodan. In front of them is Nico Lodero, who is the captain tonight. And up top is Jordan Morris and Will Bruin for the Sounders. Will Bruin, who had a fantastic debut season for the Sounders last year. The two of them playing up top in a 4-4-2 diamond formation for the Sounders today. For the Portland Timbers, the familiar 4-2-3-1 that we were used to seeing under head coach Caleb Porter, Giovanni Savarese trotting it out as well. And this is a very familiar group. All of these guys were on the team a year ago. Jeff Adanella gets a start and goal. Vitas at left back. Liam Ridgewell, Larry Smabiala pair at center backs. Alvis Powell is the right back. David Guzman and Lauren Lawrence Olam in the defensive midfield, Sebastian Blanco, Diego Valeri, Dairon Espria, that line of three behind the big man, Fernando Adi, who is finally back to health after missing the last 12 matches of 2017, including the playoffs, with a hamstring injury. It's a big change. Um, Caleb Porto cast a very big shadow over that club, did wonders at the Portland Timbers. He's gone along with um, very key players also. So this squad here is playing to kind of reestablish themselves after disappointing playoffs last year, but also to impress the new head coach. And we're underway, the Portland Timbers and the Seattle Sounders. The Mobile Mini Sun Cup from Tucson, Arizona MLS preseason 2018. He's one of the remaining players on that team that I actually played with, Fernando yeah. Adi. And yeah, I'm a big fan of his. He's always, you kind of see him just as a hold-up guy. He can keep the ball, but he's not afraid to make runs in behind and he's a deadly, deadly finisher. When I first saw him play, I didn't know he scored this many goals, but he's been fantastic. Morris. Good combination. Ship is through. And Anella makes the save and it's going to be put in. It's the first goal for Seattle. It's Christian Roldan getting the Sounders on the scoreboard. And that's just good attacking play by the Sounders. It's one of the benefits of having two strikers up top. They can play off of each other. Jordan Morris and Wilburyn running off of each other there. Wilburyn checks deep. Jordan lays it off to him. Harry Ship, the third man running. Probably should have finished. Jordan could have finished. And finally, Christian Rodin says, here, I'll take it. It's a very, very good goal by the Sounders. Very incisive passing. That will please Brian Schmetzer. But that is one of the benefits of having two guys up there. It's not one forward isolated. And you're already seeing maybe a benefit to this new fourth. 4-2 formation. Guzman again. Oh, Mabiala. That's a great save from Stefan Fry. Had to react quickly. It was within his range, but he's able to push it over the bar. It's another really good delivery by Guzman there, putting it right along the, the six-yard box. Very, very tough for the defenders to get anything on it, and Paul and Tim is attacking it really, really well. Definitely the reason I think these two teams enjoy playing this game is it, it's a step up from just a preseason training game, so they definitely care a little bit more. Oh, Valeri with the head! We saw it so often in 2017. He's done it again. The service from his good buddy Sebastian Blanco, and we're level in the 25th. It's what Diego Valeri does. I, for an attacking midfielder to have the numbers he has is simply astonishing. And I'm speaking about Fernando Adi and the different ways he scores goals. Valeri might even have more tricks up his sleeve because you don't have to see the number 10 being the guy at the end of a cross like that, finishing with his head. He improved his heading last year, Diego Valeri, which made him an even better player than he already was. It's just a, the sound has scored a great goal. That's also a very, very good goal by the Portland Timbers. Blanco on the left-hand side, cutting back, very good cross. All Valeri has to do is redirect it. The pace is already on the ball, and Stefan Fry, no chance, 1-1. One, one. Nifty touch, confident from the 15-year-old at number 80. That's Ray Serrano. That's Ray Sorry challenging Kendall McIntosh, who made the save. Those two guys used to going at it on the USL level, and now Arboleda showing his speed. He's got players on the left if he can find him. Arboleda coming forward, and he didn't get it right. It was broken up. And then he fouled 
And the Sounders defender. That's what you can expect now from these young players. There's a lot of good ideas. Execution might not always be there, but both teams can be happy with their last pieces of attack and play there. Barmby trying to turn into a dangerous spot. It's a giveaway. Mathers, here's Buana, a chance for another. His second goal of the preseason for the 18-year-old homegrown Handwala Buana. And it's 2-1 now, Seattle. Well, it's a mistake. It's a giveaway by Bombi. But everything that came after that, full credit to Seattle. The ball's moving one touch, two touch. Great play by Zach Mathers. And how about that for a finish? I mean, the touch, the composure, to control the ball with the sole of his foot and then kind of disguise his body position there and makes you think he's going to the far post, sneaks in at the near post. It's a very, very, very good finish. You can see why. Maybe on for Seattle, what a save. Kendall McIntosh denying Buana his second of the game and his third of the preseason. Very, very crafty, but Buana, once he gets into that final third, defender can't touch him, be touch him, it's a penalty. Fantastic little Cruyff turn there, gets it onto his left foot. Comfortable going left or right there. Good shot, good save. And that is it. So the two Pacific Northwest rivals come down to Tucson, and it's the Seattle Sounders coming out on top. Two to one, thanks to Hondwala Buana's 68th minute goal. Ended up being the game winner. And the first ever post game handshake between Giovanni Savarese and Brian Schmetzer at midfield. Two guys that will go up against each other for real when it counts on May 13th, the first of three regular season matches between the Timbers and Sounders. That match will be in Portland. That will be the 100th meeting between the Timbers and the Sounders, all time, all era.